Here is four reasons why I think UBC Co-op is overrated. Number one, the co-op program has limited job postings for larger tech companies. If you intend to work at a larger tech company, you might be out of luck on the co-op job posting page. The co-op job posting page is mostly filled with small to mid-sized companies or industrial companies that aren't really tech-based. Also based on the year-end co-op report from UBC, 90 two percent of the co-ops placements are within canada so if you're looking to work in the u.s it's better off applying on your own i would recommend looking at the pit csc internship repo they've got a massive collection of internships in the united states that you can apply to i applied to co-op about two years ago and i thought that was the only way that i was going to be able to get work experience many of the job postings on the co-op page are not exclusive to just co-op students. You're able to apply to many of these job postings on LinkedIn, Glassdoor, or their company job opening page. Also, if you're planning to apply to big tech companies or companies in the United States, they require you to apply at least eight months in advance. And generally speaking, there are not many postings on the co-op job page eight months before your co-op work term. You really only see a influx of job postings four months before your co-op start date. This is going to be an issue because a lot of the job positions that you're going to apply to these big tech roles are going to be filled by the time you apply through the co-op posting site. Number two, The co-op program and their workshops can be a little bit outdated. The tech industry changes so fast. It seems like every year the information about the application processes, what to include in your resume, how to prepare for interviews is different from the previous years. I find that the co-op program doesn't really keep up with these changes and the information provided at the workshops or by your co-op coordinator are not geared towards the evolving tech climate. This is probably just because the co-op program is for all the UBC science students and they're not specifically geared to software positions. So I can understand why their information is more general and not specific to software jobs. One of my friends told me their co-op coordinator actually instructed them to write two page resumes and also spend a really long time on writing cover letters. While this might be actually important for other faculties in other fields, this isn't quite relevant to software jobs. If you've watched my cover letter video, you would know that it's probably not a good idea to spend over like 10 minutes on writing a cover letter. You can get all the information about how to prepare for software interviews, how to write a cover letter, how to format your resume, a quick Google search away. For me, if I have any questions regarding CS or the software internship process, I always go to Reddit. I'm regularly stalking the CS career questions page and CS majors just for new ways to improve the application process and how to conduct myself in interviews. Number three, the co-op program can be expensive. There are a lot of fees involved with the co-op program. There's a one-time fee of $267 and every time you do a co-op work term, you have to pay $822 just for that term. Because you're enrolled in a work term, you're actually considered a full-time student. So you will also have to pay the school fees, like the regular school fees, like AMS fees, UPASS, the medical insurance fees, things like that. So that that's just an additional expense you probably have to consider. It can all add up to be a lot of money, especially if you didn't really find any of the co-op resources that useful. Number four, the work term co-op project can be a pain. After every co-op term, you're required to submit a co-op term project that just summarizes the work that you've done over the past four months. You can usually just submit this work term project to your employer if your work was considered confidential. For my co-op, I submitted documentation about a feature that I worked on for the last four months. However, if you do end up needing to submit the project to the co-op program, from the examples I saw, they were very long and very formal papers that you're required to write. So that's just an additional amount of work that you might just not want to be signed up for. I will say though that it's actually a very good idea to be keeping track of your progress throughout the term and exactly what you did during your work term. I found like the documentation that I wrote for my co-op project was extremely useful and I referenced it a lot when I was 
answering behavioral questions. Another little irk about the co-op program and why it might just be a little bit overrated is that they kind of force you to accept offers or decline offers within 48 hours of the offer being sent. Luckily for me, I had my interviews right back to back so I was able to squish the next one and let them know that hey I've got this offer and I need you to give me a response like as soon as you can but it's obviously in the interest of the employers because they want to get confirmation pretty soon. Four months ago I started looking for a co-op position or internship for the summer at a larger tech company. I applied to a ton of internships, all the fan companies, a lot of big tech companies, mostly in the United States and some in Canada, just looking for internships. I was able to land a few interviews and eventually I actually got an offer from Amazon. When I applied to Amazon, I applied in August of 2022 and if I were to have applied during the start of when the co-op job postings happened, I don't think Amazon was even sending out OAs during that time. It's definitely way too late if you were intending to work for Amazon in the summer. I applied to a lot of jobs through LinkedIn and also using the Pitt CSC intern repository so it wasn't really a problem for me to find job postings to apply to. On the flip side, I do need to mention how co-op has helped me. Co-op is great to help you land your first job. I really do think that co-op can help make the process of finding your first software position way easier. The company trusts that the co-op program has selected good students to work with and in turn, the company is able to kind of provide this exclusivity to offer these job positions only to co-op programs. Also, just from looking at the year and co-op reports, a big majority of students find placements during their work term. I think during my one of my workshops, it was like the number was around 90%. If you are in the co-op program, it is very likely that you will find placement. This is obviously not a guarantee that you'll find co-op placement, but I really believe that as long as you apply consistently, you prepare a decent amount, you're going to find a job. I'd like to just kind of sum up a bit about my experience through the co-op program. I worked at a very small startup in Vancouver. There was only four people on the team and it was just a really great hands-on experience where I was able to learn so much about software development, web development, front end, the back end. That's kind of the benefit from working at a smaller company. When I was applying for my first job, I really did find the co-op program really helpful. I had one co-op coordinator. I did practice interviews with him so many times for every single interview view that I had. So I will say that I've had a very positive experience with the co-op program for the most part. It's just that I think once you find your first internships, you can kind of move on from the program and look for things on your own outside of it. It might not be as helpful as it once was when you're looking for your first job. Thank you for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful whether you're in the co-op program or you're still applying. Like this video and subscribe. Leave a comment comment down below of what your first internship or your co-op experience was like and see you later.